The Western Front, December 1915 After the British and French armies had suffered nearly 500,000 casualties in 1915 trying to break the deadlock on the Western Front, it was decided that a joint offensive between the two allies would be launched in the summer of 1916 in the Somme region of France to find the end of the war to end all wars. December 1914, the French launched their first major offensive against the German invaders in the Champagne region of France. For the first battle of Champagne, the French suffered over 90,000 casualties for little gains. March 1915, the British launched their first sole offensive in the Artois region of France with the Battle of Dune Chapelle. The attack started well with a hurricane bombardment which shocked the German defenders and the village of Dune Chapelle was captured. On the offensive ground to halt, with the Germans bringing up reinforcements, the British army suffered over 10,000 casualties. April 1915, the Germans launched an attack on the Ypres salient with the first use poison gas. They broke the French lines while the Canadians held their ground. The British suffered over 70,000 casualties, a lot of men being lost on a number of useless counter-attacks. In the end, a lot of ground was lost. Ypres still remained on Allied control. May 1915, the French launched an attack on Vinny Ridge called the Second Battle of Artois. In support, the British attacked further north with the Battle of Aberge Ridge. The battle ended badly, no territory gained, the High Butcher's Bill. Next, the British attacked again a few days later with the Battle of Festerbird. With limited gains and a high casualty rate, the British and the French suffered over 100,000 casualties from this joint offence. July 1915, the French launched an offensive in the Vosges Mountains of Assas in the southern regions on the Western Front called the Battle of the Liege. The Germans had relatively few troops in this area. Their positions were heavily fortified and made use of the natural advantages of the territory. The fighting was hard and the French made little gains and suffered over 10,000 casualties. September 1915, the French again attacked Vinny Ridge for the Third Battle of Artois. To the south, they attacked again in the Champagne region with the Second Battle of Champagne. In support, the British attacked further north with the Battle of Luz, the largest battle ever undertaken by the British Army, with the British making their first use of poison gas. The attack started well with the capture of the town of Luz, the Germans brought up reinforcements and the attack broke down. The British suffered heavy casualties. From these offences, the French suffered over 200,000 casualties and the British 70,000 casualties with little gains. General Haig, the commander in chief of the British Expeditionary Force, having taken over from Field Marshal French at the end of 1915, wanted to launch an attack from the Ypres Salient up to the Dutch border and to capture the Belgian ports of Ostend and Zeebrugge, which were being used by German U-boats to attack British shipping in the English Channel. Marshal Joffrey, the commanding chief of the French armies, had lure plans. He wanted to launch a joint attack in the Somme region of France, with France providing the majority of the forces, with the British attacking north of the River Somme and the French to the south, with the British government telling Haig he must assist the French armies as much as possible, Joffrey would get his way. Everything changed with the Germans' 5th Army attack on Verdun on the 21st of February. The attack on Verdun was a plan by the German Chief of General Staff, von Falkenhayn. He wanted to bleed France white by launching a massive German attack on the narrow stretch of land as a historic sentiment for the French. Falkenhayn believed that the French simply could not allow Verdun to fall as a national humiliation would have been too much. By fighting to the last man, Falkenhayn believed that the French would lose so many men that the battle would change the course of the war. The important French fort, Dumas, was easily captured after three days. The drain on French manpower over the coming months meant that the French could only play a limited role in the attack on the Somme. The British 
would now have to provide with the majority of the attacking forces. The British Army ordered a battle for the attack on the Somme. It was made up of the 3rd Army, 10th Corps, which had 37th Division, 46th Division and 56th Division under its command. The 4th Army was supplied the majority of the forces for the attack. It was made up of 8th Corps with 31st Division, 4th Division, 29th Division and 48th Division. 6th Corps with 36th Division, 32nd Division and 49th Division. 3th Corps with 8th Division, 34th Division and 19th Division. 15th Corps with 21st Division, 7th Division and 17th Division and 13th Corps with 18th Division, 13th Division and 9th Division. The Reserve Army was also on the command. 4th Army, the advance and the breakthrough was achieved. It was made up of 1st Cavalry Division, 2nd Indian Cavalry Division and 3rd Cavalry Division. General Headquarters Reserve of the 12th Division and 25th Division and 2 Corps with 23rd Division and 38th Division were also available. The German army order battle for the defence of the Somme region was made up of the German 2nd Army. It had 14th Corps under its command. The Corps was made up of 2nd Guard Reserve Division, which consisted of 77th Reserve Regiment, 91st Reserve Regiment, 55th Reserve Regiment and 15th Reserve Regiment. 52nd Division, which was made up of 170th Regiment, 66th Regiment and 169 Regiment, 26 Reserve Division made up of 121st Reserve Regiment, 119th Reserve Regiment, 99th Reserve Regiment and 180th Regiment, 28th Reserve Division is made up of 110th Reserve Regiment, 111th Reserve Regiment and 109th Reserve Regiment, and finally. 12th Division, which is made up of 23rd Regiment, 62nd Regiment, and 63rd Regiment. The Corps of Reserve are 10th Barbarian Division, made up of 16th Barbarian Regiment, 6th Reserve Barbarian Regiment, and 8th Reserve Barbarian Regiment. And the 185th Division, made up of 185th Regiment, 186th Regiment, and the 190th Regiment. The Germans also had the following corps troops supporting the the corps artillery batteries who play an important part in defence of their captured territory. This is part one of a three part introductory to the Battle of the Somme. The next film will cover the British and German order of battle and the British attack plan. The third film will cover the attack plan in more detail, covering each division plan of attack. Future films will cover the build up and attack of each of the 13 regions which attacked on said day, 1st of July, in great detail. If you would like to support the channel financially so that I can keep producing these films, you can do so by Patreon or PayPal, details in the description box. If you want to be informed when the next film will be coming out, please click on the subscribe button.